get in tune i'm back with another video you already know the vibes welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be giving you guys a nail case tour showing you guys what's in my yahi tech nail case i mean it's a makeup case but i use it for nails so this is my blinged out background so i use this for the background to take pictures i got this from amazon these are my nail swatches for nail polish i don't really use nail polish like that anymore but yeah so these are my kds glues everybody uses kds glue i got these from ebay you on ebay you can buy in bulk that's some um kiss glue i don't use that these are my dampen dishes i do need to get some bigger ones but these are the ones i use for now these are my nail tips so i do have some off-white ones and i have some clear ones i usually use the clear ones people don't unless someone asks for the off-white sometimes you know clients prefer off-white over clear and then this is a buffer i don't really use it but clearly you can see i use that one and so this is my nail duster i got that from amazon too these are my McCart um, nail files. Some of them, oil got on them, so I need to throw some of them away. So I did buy a whole new pack. But you can get these on Amazon too. These are my acrylic brushes. So I got the Pana one from Amazon. And then the other two are Alpha brushes I got from Alpha. Um, I like, I haven't used the Alpha number 10 yet, but I like the other two brushes. I like the Alpha number 9 and the Panda number 10. So, these are my um, cleanup brushes. These are in design brushes. Got them from Amazon. So, now we're on the second part, little razzle dazzle. So, these are where I keep the rest of my um, white nail tips and then some clear, extra clear, just in case. That's my old duster. Rickety. This, I don't know what it's called, but I got it from Amazon too. So this, like, you know when you want to like get encapsulation on one side, so you cut the acrylic off? That's what I use that tool for, whatever it's called. These are my nippers. I need to get a new pair because those are looking a little crusty. And these are my scissors. I use them for cutting and shaping the nail tips. That is um, one wooden cuticle pusher. I don't really use it, but I keep it. And that is just a little baby nail clip. These are my forms. Use them for sizing the nails. And now we're gonna swirl on over to the other side. So these are things that I keep in my nail case, but they just need to be washed because I just recently used them. That's a cuticle pusher. That's the one I usually use. This I use, so you mix acetone and you mix alcohol and you dip your brush in and you scrub the nail once you've prepped it and use that as a dehydrator. And these are some of my bits. These are probably like my mainly used bits. So I use these today, so they need to be washed. So these are some more bits. These are some Melody Susie bits that I got from Amazon. Y'all, I basically got everything from Amazon. Amazon is the plug, okay? If you need nail stuff, Amazon. These came with my Melody Susie drill. I don't use them. These are my McCart drill bits. These might be my favorite. I use them all the time. I love them so much. I had to get another pack because my other one's looking kind of rusty. And these are some sanding bands. They also came with my um, Melody Susie drill. These are some cuticle bits. They are Melody Susie. Got them from Amazon. So this is like a glass paint thing. So you put the nail polish on it and like use it for designs. I haven't used it yet, but I'm gonna use it eventually one day. 
So here we got the razzle dazzle, the nail polish, and the design stuff. And it also does come with a key. I haven't used the key yet, but it does come with a key for those who are interested. So this is like my nail polishes. I have Madame Glam, Kiara Sky, some Gelin, Valentino, like a whole bunch of stuff. But people do not, people just want acrylic powder because it's faster, you know, so nail polish isn't really in right now. So I might give some away. I might sell some. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Or maybe I'll like just build a nail polish collection. I don't know. So this is my Beatles um, foil glue. I use that to glue on my foils. It is the perfect adhesion. A gel resin. I use this for the rhinestones, but I do need to get a better glue so I love this color this is my favorite color I can't wait to use it favorite nail polish so these are my nail foils I think I got these from Macart they are from Amazon though I love these they're so pretty and they're so nice for the summer these are some dried flowers I actually thought that these would be more popular but not a lot of people have um, been drawn to the dried flowers. I've actually never even tried them myself. I think I might do that for my next set. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to try dried flowers for my next set. So this is the Razzle Dazzle, you know, the bling. The girls love a good bling nail, okay? So this bling I also got from Amazon. So it comes in different sizes. These are all little circles. So some big, some small. And then I have these that come in different shapes, different sizes. Love these. I haven't really used them much because I need to get um, the nail, the gel to um, have better adhesion because resin don't really work well with these. I mean, it works, but not that great. These are my favorite. These little diamond shaped bits are fire. And then these are some tweezers, regular degular. And then this is a wax stick to pick up the rhinestones. These are some iridescent little different shapes and stuff. Just for a little razzle dazzle, you know? So we have like little I want to say these are like Mickey Mouse ears, if you're into that kind of thing. These are, I don't know which, I don't know shapes, y'all. I don't know shapes. Those are some hearts, though. I know that shape. And then I think those are like diamonds. I don't know shapes. And then these are some butterflies in a bunch of different colors, but that right there... That color right there, that's my favorite. That color right, look at it, that's fire. And then, you know, we have to have the gold, the silver, the red, the pink, all of that. These are some tweezers. And then these are some butterfly decals I got from Gloss. Decals, I believe they're called. Um, so basically you cut these out, put them in water, and put them on the nail. And these are some old English letters I got from them. I really should have got the numbers. I got to get the numbers. And these are some nail foils. We got gold, rose gold, off gold, silver, all types of different um, golds and silvers. This is some um, green glitter. I got these from Sally. Sally. So green glitter gold glitter blue glitter okay so that's that's that so we're gonna close this up that's part uno and dos i guess so now we're gonna open up one side and we're gonna swing that thing over and open up the other side Oh, look at that. What we have here. So this is my little Ziploc where I keep my 
um, napkins for acrylic. So I use these vanity napkins from BJ's. They're way more absorbent to me than like paper towel. And then I hate these little gloves because they have latex in them. So they like be me messing up my little hands and making them like irritated. I usually keep extra Ziplocs in here to put like contaminated stuff that I use on people. But I got to re-up. So this is my um, Mia Secret Monoma. Big size and a little size. Well, that's not really a big size, but you get it. This is my Valentino Monoma. I really haven't used this in a minute. I've really just been on Mia Secret lately. I don't know if they switched up the bottle, but the old one was thicker. The new one is more skinny and sleek. So this is my IBD Dehydrate. I don't use that anymore. This is the Young Nails Protein Balm. I just started using it, so I don't have an opinion yet. That's the Valentino, Su Valentino Super Bond. I've been using that for a while, and I don't really think that the Valentino works well for me. This is my um, cuticle oil. It smells so good. Everybody loves it. As soon as I open it, they be like, mm, that smells so good. Yes, honey, get in tune. So these are some of my colored ac acrylics from Mia Secret. This one is called Cake. Love that color. That one is called Grape. Love that color too. This is my Valentino. This is Bad and Bougie. And when I tell you the girls love Bad and Bougie, you like, look, it's damn near empty. This is um, Multi Balance Pink from Mia Secret. I basically use this as a um, encapsulator. So if I do colored acrylics or any encapsulated nails, this is what I use to go over it. And this is from Valentino. I don't know what this color is called, but it's bomb. It looks so pretty on nails. It's iridescent. It's beautiful. This has been the star of the show. The girls have been loving this cover page from Mia Secret. Everybody recently has been wanting this color. So this is some alcohol water mix that I just use as a disinfectant. So now let's see what's in the next part, y'all. What y'all think is going to be in the next part? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there we have it. My Mia Secret. Not Mia Secret. I'm sorry. Melody Susie Drill. I really enjoy this drill. It, I got it. I don't know where I got this from. But this drill is great and it's on the cheaper side. But it had it did break on me. So this is my um, UV gel lamp. Love this. Had this for a while. Works great. So what y'all think is going to be in like the next... Oh yeah, my extension cord. Because sometimes people don't be having um, outlets close by. So you have to keep your extension cord. So this is my practice hand. I used this for the first time last week. Um, I had a one-on-one -on -one with Nailed by Nikki. She's a YouTuber. Me and her um, had a session for the cuticle area. So she helped me get that perfect round cuticle area so it's not a lot of drilling to do. So in my last portion, it's just some barbicide. Gotta have the barbicide. This is a little bowl just for cleaning. Gotta have the cotton. Um, more buffers. Gotta have the alcohol. I mean, of course, acetone, right? Those are the nails for the hand. This is a tripod. I got this from Amazon, too. I was going to use it for filming, but I don't. I don't use it. Some more nail swatch um, things. I got these from Amazon, as well. These are in stiletto. So this is the case in which I got my Mia Secret acrylic powders. So it's called Fruity. These are just some more little storage things for rhinestones. More sanding bands. This is just an acrylic jar I got from um, my local beauty supply store. Those are some sponges from my local beauty supply. So with these um, little jars, I mix acrylic colors to make like my own colors. I don't use these. I put um, barbicide in that little jar. Those are some labels. This is a cup that I got from Classic Brand Lashes on IG. Check them out. So 
so yeah that's pretty much well no that's not it yet this is my foot pedal for my um melody susie drill i don't use it though so that's all that i bring in my case so i use this case for when i am traveling to clients it is the perfect case but i will tell you that it does get a little heavy and i will tell you that this handle in the back is rickety so that is probably the only con that i have it's so rickety i don't know if it's me and my nails or what but it's so hard to like get it up even sometimes when i push it all the way down and pull it up it still like stops on me so that is like a huge con but besides that this case is very nice it does come with like little storage pockets that you can put in each bin but i just don't use them i don't even know where those are but so if you need to like have separation between your things they do have bins it does come with bins i just don't use them it is on four wheels and you can move the wheel side to side from to front to back turn them around however you want to use them or move them so i do recommend this case if you are traveling nail artists makeup artists hair artists whatever it is that you do if you travel get this case it's perfect it'll be perfect for you when i travel with it in my car i do separate it into two pieces because the i'm short so the one piece is like very tall for me and it's very heavy so i recommend this and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will try to pump out some more content so thank you guys for watching like share comment and subscribe bye